Hey guys, I here, Pern, doing a little bit different uh, video today as I'm going to be doing some uh, upgrades or slightly modifications to my build, uh, build Strike Seed Galaxy, the entry grade version of this kit. As depending on if you know or not, if you built this kit or not, uh, one of the problems I had with this kit is its joints, mainly towards its legs. As this thing and my previous video when I did the review for this thing uh, go any further, and this thing is going to pop off. Oof, popped off so easily. So right now I'm gonna be doing a base modifying it. So right now let's take off the arms, which despite being an also ball joint suit, aren't a problem at all. Which is the thing that annoys me. See right there, that leg popped off so easily. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna need some strike legs, or I mean high grade strike legs. Now there's videos out there whatnot with people using modifications. For the legs and whatnot, when I was working on this or looking at this, overall, don't really do those serious modifications where they kind of need the cutting and whatnot. A lot of them do or whatnot. I'm not going to. Usually, the cutting's like around here with joint ways. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Because I found out you really don't need to. The leg things are kind of almost the same, except I think the high grade's a little bit shorter. So, you pop in, like right there. No problem at all. And it actually fits perfectly fine. Don't really need to do the serious cutting modifications I thought you would need. So that's one leg already built or jointed in. Taking the other one. Now you're wondering why this strike leg looks different towards the other. This was a tactical custom strike strike that I built a while ago or years ago. Uh, ended up going into the gutters through other stuff. Huh. You know what? I may cut here. I'm looking at this, yeah, but it makes it, but it makes it good stiff. That's actually pretty nice. So legs are done. You could do some modifications to make you go a little bit more down. I kind of want to keep it a little bit more up because it makes it slightly like a little bit taller. But if you want, you could probably just cut around this, then do a little bit of sanding on here to make it work good. I'm not gonna do that because it actually fits tightly right there. And you really don't need to do too much on the modifications towards the leg. Like we're trying to upgrade the uh, entry grade strike. We're not trying to do the whole modifications. And then we got the waist torso, which first things first, let's remove. If I remember how to remove this. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. All right, this thing in the small joint. Remove that. See right here, take out the skirts. We're removing everything that it's gonna be in our way. And now, the most important part, we're gonna be cutting these. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut the ball joints off sand them off, then drill, and we're going to be using one of the runners. I just took one of the runners I had right now. We're going to cut the runners off. Might as well do that right now. Let's do this right here. And we'll sand, the, and we'll sand this, because this right here will be our new connection point for when we attach the leg joints. So now we have a very tough piece right here. Put this away. I mean, you, nah. Primarily, since it's going to be color color, I would use the gray one, but I didn't have any of the good red gray ones with me right now. It's the only other kit I did before we were a little bit of the backpacks I was working on, and they're different colors. So, the red one's going to have to do for the meantime, but it's fine. We're going to do modifications later. And now we go with cutting the joint. As you can see right here, we're going to be cutting this off. Now, for some people, we're like, oh no, like what happens if we made a mistake or whatnot? It's like, this is all a part of doing custom builds when it comes to model kits. I'm going to slightly do this because here's the thing. If we try to cut this forcefully, this thing is going to go shooting down like one of those pinballs or ricochet off. And I don't want to do that because, hey, these things fly off at really high speed and could uh, accidentally hurt you. So I usually try to do this nice and slowly, try to wiggle it off and there. Because if I had some occasions where one of these actually came back, hit me, almost hit me in the eye, that almost blinded me, or almost went through my nose or mouth and almost caused a little bit of choking at it. So I try not to do forcefully and try to just wiggle it out just for safety issues. Usually, I'm wearing my goggles. I'm not wearing my goggles, which is the sad thing about this, because they're right next to me and I'm not wearing them. But it should be fine. These tinkering around, just move it away, and boom. Done. See right here. Now cut. Now we go for primary thing A, which will be a little bit more sanding. 
which will be this. So I'm going to be lazy about this. I have my grinder drill. A little bit of noise that I'm going to make right now. Actually, wait. Wrong drill I'm going to use. Come on. Get off. Yeah. Don't need that one. I need one of my other ones. This is the one thing I do like about... Because I used to have a different kind of grinder. This uh, broke off and stuff. I ended up liking this one. Right here, it's pretty good for what you need. Uh, and then I'm just going to need a square one. Somewhere around here. Aha. Uh -huh. One of the ones that was manhandled with my blades. Because also I also use these to um, sharpen my knives. So, put that back. Lower settings, I don't want to do this a little bit crazy. Sand this a little bit and what we need. But we need a little bit more facet just to get through this. But you're good. A little bit grinding. Apologize for noise of all that. Grab exacto knife, do a little bit of cutting, make sure it's smooth. Now, I will say this is how I work my customs and whatnot. Everybody else is different when it comes to their customization and whatnot. Everybody has their own methods, etc. etc. Now, I would be using my hand tools, and I do mean this. What I mean by that is I would be using. Uh, because I use, I have hand drills, or had hand drills. I have no clue where they went. So, it's a good thing this thing came with drill, drill bits. So I can just use the drill bits just to, there we go. I can just use the drill bits just to uh, drill here. Not my most wanting thing to do because I'd rather use a hand, hand drill. I mean, technically speaking, I can't technically do this with this one. Just drill right here. But that would take way too long. Now, I should have done this in the most way possible. I know. I do apologize for anybody watching this that's going to be hurting and cringing. <laughs> I don't do this a lot. Whew. Now we have a hole. I can see here. I know that hurt a little bit for anybody watching that. I do apologize. Most of the time I'm using my hand uh, pinwheel, uh, pinwheel drills. But for some reason, they've disappeared. They've lost. It's that... What is that thing that old guns, uh, old builders, old builders have? And I'm encountering the dreaded, what's it called? Uh, vortex where it disappears and takes all your stuff. So it, uh, so I lost all my pinwheel drills, which is sad because I like those and they're different drills, bits and whatnot. And I can control this using the automatic grinder. It's fun and it's easier once you have it in there. <sighs> but having to deal with this, but having the well, the handheld one's a little bit better because you have more control over it, and I prefer that way. Ugh. And also, I, I'm having to swap over drill bits every time when I was like, right now I just use the small one to use the small one, now I have to use one of the bigger ones to make the bigger ones, which I have here, which is, which again, I'm lucky that my box of parts for my for my grinder here came with a bunch different bunch of drill bits and stuff, so I can just attach it onto here with no problem at all. And then I just tighten it up and just slowly but surely since the hole's already there, I just need to. Drill a little bit, make it slightly bigger. Boom. 
Oosh. So right there. Hole is built. Big so. Now let's see. Now that right there will fit. All I'm gonna do is have to cut this off because so let's see where this is gonna fit. Suss this out. Okay, that's gonna fit all the way there. Meaning Usually I do this by the ear or by the eye. Try to make this not break off and kill me. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh crap. I didn't realize this thing actually all the way. Oh. Oh no. Now I have to redo this. It's now I ended up making compromise because I didn't cut this right. Great. You know what? That's actually that's actually fine. This way I can just like I said, trial and error. I don't tend to uh for me personally, I do not tend to measure. I never measure when I come to do this. Usually it's um just wing it. That's how I always do this. It's the way I was brought up. I'm going to sand this all the way. It's one of my sanding files that I have here, which is a bunch of them. I'm going to have to buy more. Because a lot of times you're going to need files for when you do project stuff. Because you're going to be drilling, grinding, filing a lot, cutting. going to have to get more blades. I'm going to have to get a new scribing, a couple new scribing blades for when I'm scribing. Because I'm kind of doing another project that's going to require some scribing. There we go. Trying to make these as formidably as possible so when they go into the joints, no problem at all. That should be fine. Now let's see how this works out. Uh, all the way. Boom. I want to make sure this is going. Now I'm trying to angle this the way I want it, so. Right there should be it. So right here, gonna make this, I'm gonna regret this decision. Oh thank god that didn't hurt me, Whew. I was worried about that for a bit. So sand a bit more than you can do. Put it more off to make this a little bit more better. Like I said, this is all trial and error. Tinkering and whatnot. I haven't done this kind of top modification in like a while. But it's always fun to do this. This is like one of the more easier things you can do. Like have some modification. As long as you can do it. And you have the right tools for it. Ah, shit. My, my drew back. Ah, shit. That drilled. Actually, no, that should be fine. Legs are there, and there we go. Drill modification complete. Look at that. Perfecto changeo. Now that we have that done, it's time for the actual operation. Which actually is going to be sealing this away. Which is where cement comes in. Because uh, other people tend to drill these a little bit bigger. I didn't for this uh, exact reason, so... With the cement, I'm going to melt the plastic to plastic there so I can seal up tight. I'm going to try to melt it in there so I can stay, so I can stay once it's cold. So I can tie it up. Then afterwards, I'm going to grab some putty and put, put putty around it to the edges that need to be so I can work out. So this can be fine. Now, the cement usually melts fast, so it shouldn't take too long. To wrap around. Now, there's something I end up learning, and I don't. It's also the reason why you don't use super glue anymore after learning how to use cement because it melts the plastic so it can be together. Because what I used to do way back yonder years. <sighs> Come on. Ah, 
Ah, shit. Not what I want to do. That is the part where you're going to have to probably wait a bit. You have to use, you have to wait for this to like go through in. So I want to make sure I don't. Now it's melting the plastic, which is what it need to be, which I needed to start. So the reason I'm using pressure to try to melt it down. So right here. Now I can go work on the other side. Now, I know there's going to be other people who are probably going to be saying, you'll be doing this or that, a little bit more modification on that, a little bit more putty. I do have the putty, which I am going to be using later. So I can make this a little bit more uh, uniformly. I'm probably going to grab some uh, plow play and just, uh, cover it over the torso so it's not attached onto it. Now, when I mean plow play, I mean like uh, plastic, which I do have a little bit right here. You can see right here. I took this off the runners from the square solid side of it. See right here, doing fine and dandy. Uh, just gotta make it stick. A little bit more uh, cement to melt it down so it can be on the ground. This way this will work. It's gonna bleed. Right now you're seeing it's bleeding a little bit more red. As it is mainly towards the runner 40 modification. This should be working fine. And now we're just going to let this sit for a bit. So I want this to be a little bit more. So I'm going to try to line this a little bit better. This way so when the joints put go in. It's no problem at all. See right there. Once say that's as aligned as I want it to be. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Damn it. You're always going to be struggling trying to make this right. There we go. Uh huh. There we go. So now we wait. Okay guys, we're back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these little plot plates right here that I just off camera just kind of did. We're basically just me just using that square piece that I used and just made these little pieces right here, which we're gonna insert into here to basically tie these up so they can hold so they can hold tight. So first things first, as uh, these things are already sealed up, which is a good thing. Uh we're gonna do this a little bit. Again, right, uh, do a little bit of this so it can start melting onto the plastic so it can, so that it can like stick up tight there. So, kind of like a glue thing, a little bit. See right there. That way, when this thing attaches, there'll be no problem at all. And we have some support right there. That's what we need. Now we just let that sit tight. Now we do the other piece. Same thing as well. Uh, what's it called? Actually, I'm going to do slight modification through this. See right here. Make sure I don't cut my hand. And now I lost. Nope, it's still here. I'm trying to figure out where I left my other drill pieces at. Ah. Uh -huh. So using one of my other drill pieces, which I have here, well not drill piece, one of my sanders. Just going to do a little bit of modification. Now why am I doing this for this? This is mainly meant to like hold the pieces in and all that. So when I do this, it's going to be easier for me. It's going to be just sanding. Just make it slightly smaller so we don't need this being big. We just need them to just like... Hold around where the joint piece is going to be at. Just need them to be uniform. Uh, you don't need to be them. You don't need them to be uniformly the same thing. Just need them just to fit in and tighten up. So a bit more of the of the cement. Attach it to where you need it to be. Oh no.
Well, shit. I may have lost the other piece. Great. All that work is gone. Oh, the life of a builder. What can I do? Okay, I'm back. And I found the other piece. Took a while. It flew out where it should not have flew out. But now I have it. We're being set. The cement is now being attached to it. So I can now harden onto the piece itself. So I can glue onto it now forever. <sighs> There's one thing I do know about when you do like uh, customization work or doing modifications. This does take a while. It's like the process is not simple and easy. This takes going around some simple easy like 30 minutes to maybe an hour or two hours depending especially if you're doing painting like when you do painting you gotta do all the modifications the sanding the priming and then from the priming you gotta wait and then from the priming then you gotta do the first coat second coat right uh no first things first you gotta do the taping depending on which parts you're doing and masking and all that and then uh then first second coat first coat wait Second coat, wait, make sure everything's done and done. And before uh, you do anything, and then when you try to attach all back, at least it's my case, because sometimes some paints do make the plastic a little bit more brittle. So we're gonna leave this little one right here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna attach this to. Ah, wait, I have an idea. Ugh. When in doubt, I'm hoping also this doesn't melt inside of this too. No, it's not gonna melt good. So I'm just gonna keep this right here on top of one of my Figma stands. And we'll have that um, setting up. Hopefully in a couple of minutes that should be done and we should be able to attach towards that. But while we're doing that, let's do a little bit more modification work. As this uh, video, if anything else, not just gonna be doing just one customization work or one model kit, it's gonna be doing multiples. Next up is going to be the backpack that I'm going to be working on. Not for this build strike, but for my strike ashtray that I'm working on right now at the moment. As you can see right here, I've been doing some modifications with them. Uh, I'm not done with it yet. It's like, I'm not going to leave it at space. I'm just thinking of what now I'm going to try to do for it. As I did make some modifications as this thing. I'm jealous of the, uh, of the, sh of the um, ground type units and some other units that are able to attach their little blades into their body uh the strike cannot so its schneider blades are left outside which i'm going to make placement of these a little bit better the only reason why it's placed like that right now at the moment is because i was doing some tinkering modifications i can always take it out they're attached to wires so i might lower this actually a little bit lower to this or may attach it to the shoulder instead actually having both of these attached to the shoulders i made the holster because i made holsters for these so they can fit I actually might do that. I might modify this for the holsters. As you might see, I use foam for the holsters to implant the Schneider blades. So what's a cold? Well, let's take off the side skirts for the meantime since we're not going to need them at the moment. So we'll just do this. Take off the leg of the ashtray. As you can see right here, it's held up by wire, uh, plastic wire, whatnot. You can get this anywhere. Usually I get these <laughs> out of the bread and whatnot. Same thing with the plop, some plop plate, like the square plop plates. I take them from the from bread, from any uh, bread, uh, uh, bread sandwich, bread, uh, uh, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, etc. Fairly easy to build to make a holster, or whatnot for this. Same thing for the arm. So reattach this back. As I imagine, going to place it a little bit more strategically. I'm thinking about it now, because you're. Because you're thinking, well, it already has the side skirts of the beam savers. Why does it need Schneider blades? To the man who likes knives on his mobile suits, it, it will be a little bit much more better. And the oh, under the shoulder thing kind of does make work well a little bit. And I kind of do like it, but uh, I'm either going to have to glue this attached on or actually better. Yeah, I can make a, oh, but that now requires... Uh, do I even have that much? Yes, I do. Because I was working on it because when I lost the other piece for the square pegs thing for the 
for the strike part. I thought I lost it, but now it's time to make an actual square holster for the Schneider blade. So let's do this. Uh, it's actually a good thing I kind of started this on this now. I just remove the... I'll not rip the part, but you know what? That's fine. I think we're going to remove the part anyway. So, Schneider blade gets replaced. You have the blade holster here. Oh, I am going to need more plastic. Oof. Do I even have any more? Yeah, I kind of hate myself because usually when it comes to like a lot of runners, I tend to use, I tend to mix runners depending, no, usually I try to mix all the runners in the same color and usually smelt them all. So I kind of like these little tiny kind of like cubes and whatnot. But I don't have that at the moment, so I'm going to have to improvise. And improvising is something I am good at. So if not, what will be the point of me being a builder? Oh, but I'm not improvising well. I don't have it. I don't even have that much plastic. Oof, this is bad. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? should have oof don't want to do this but if that's the only plastic runner I have at the moment eh screw it good news found another runner this belongs to actually the D load ashtray too Actually, it's kind of funny. So, not this load Astra. This actually belongs to the um, Astra No Name. But I really don't need the parts because they're all basically uh, the waist piece, torso piece, torso waist piece right here, arm piece right here. Uh, I think these are leg piece over here. I don't need them. So, grab nipper right here. We're just going to cut the square piece on top of this because we don't need that. Uh... Oh, forgive me for this being a long video. This was never meant to be. At least as long as this should be. This is just going to be just a little bit quick strike video, whatnot, repair work and all that. But you know what? When, you, when you're a builder, a lot of things don't go the way you want it. Sometimes things just happen and you just got to work for it. You just got to work with it. As I got to work with this now. So, that does give me honesty. I might work on... I have so many pieces from different model kits and whatnot over the years. I'm just going to do some modifications or, over the time. Or the time being for it. So, I might do that. What do you need for this? How far do I need? Okay, so I need... got to calculate. So, I'm going to do... A slap here, slap here. I know, I should be using the pencil marker or whatnot, but I feel like with the runner, or with the nipper, I can just angle where I need to cut, make the adjustments, and just hopefully don't blind myself when I'm cutting these off. There we go. Twist and turn. Try to make these a little bit more effortless as I want. Because I really do hate... I guess it's my little gripe I have this because it's called if you build any of the ground type Gundams, uh, you know they're holst they have holsters for the beam savers on their legs. If you built the um, Atlas Gundam, you know it has holsters on the arms. Which I hate because the Wing Zero technically high grade Wing Zero technically has it. But it can't holster them because they don't fit, which I can't it's a dumb idea where I to build that. Because it's supposed to fit in there. They don't. I tried doing modifications way back on my original Wing Zero high grade that I had. Uh, just no, uh, that high grade no longer exists. Shit. Uh, I'm fine. That thing flew off and almost uh, hit me. But I'm fine. With the round piece, I know where it's at now because it's on the floor. That's so much stuff we should be working on. 
like right here, I'm right, right now I'm working on sanding this. We should put this on a video or whatnot. You know, I really should just stream this. You know, it's not a bad idea. I should stream this. And then just uh, put it on YouTube. I see no reason why. I've seen people basically do this. What's it called? Just stream their, what's it called? Build and whatnot. You know, people enjoy them. I might do that. Right now, there's just customization work and all that. Uh, but it's things that people just do. Uh, whew. now we're just gonna sand off the pieces over here, as you can see right there. Because while we wait for the leg piece for the XC Bell Strike to form in, we're gonna be sanding these. Oof, a lot of fire was being popped off. All right, it, it's supposed to be a national holiday today, isn't it? Explains why the mail didn't come in. That was a whole lot of issue we had a while ago about mail not being delivered. No, well, that's an issue I always deal with somewhere all the time with my local whatever I have to deal with that. Sanding. I just need this just to be able to just sand there. Just some small pieces just to attach. Because what we're going to do. That's the reason why the wire is actually going to be useful for this. So. Now everybody wonder how am I going to attach this perfectly well. Well, the blade's going to be attached there. Over here, we're going to attach these two together. It's the blade over here. Kind of like a sandwich. It should fit the way I want it. And now, with this wire, going to attach onto this. Now, this is only going to be temporary. So I'm going to need this to do, because I did this before a while ago on my Gundam Vidar. Because if you've built a Gundam Vidar, you know that its front pistols are fake. So what I did is I actually made a holster for it. One second. Where are you, Vidar? Where is my Vidar? Uh-huh, here we go. It's a good thing about having your monikers on shelving. You can just grab them when you want to. So here's my gun Vidar. For those who've built Vidar, you know the holsters for them are fake. Uh, what I ended up doing was basically making them real. So the holsters, there we go. You can actually pop that off, so that's the actual thing. So I actually made actual holsters for it. It actually works out well. Kind of uh, basically just cut the pieces off. Just made... Uh, basically, the attachment thing make bigger as hell. It took a while. But, Vidar can actually unholster these at, when he needs them. Put them back. And boom. Vidar has his holstered uh, 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 physical pistol. Which I actually do like. Vidar is one of my favorite uh, high grades. I don't think kind of might be online. It's actually probably one of the better ones too. Stabilize. This is the only thing I was grabbed about. But, like I said, when you're a builder... You can do your own work modified, and this is actually pretty nice of me doing. That's one probably one of my my more modern actual work of builds than actually done. Let's put this guy back to order. Now it's a little bit tight. I'm not gonna lie, because it's close to the body, but it still works for how I want it for Dar to be. Uh, but Dar can just go back, and I hope I didn't just crack something because that would know me the crap out of because that will be work. I don't want to do, and the door is a favorite of mine, and I'd rather not have him destroyed. Oh no, what piece are you from? Huh. You see this, right? This came off. It's a blue piece, so it came off somewhere. Where did, oh. No. Oh. Great. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Doesn't take too long to fix some pieces. Ah, but Vidar, why? Why would you do this to me? Blame Bandai for not... 
This is not getting annoying. Oh, Vidar, why would you do this to me? Just put on your goddamn holsters and just stick on there. Okay, we should have this back attached onto this. You know, it's been a while since I built this, so I might do some modifications. Yeah, those pieces. Yeah, these pieces right here. I'm at a point where I'm just gonna glue them. But you know what? After this, I'm just gonna leave them as is. Not gonna touch them. Just gonna stay right there. Boom. You're back. No touchy touchy Vidar. You're just gonna stay like that. And since I don't want to put you back, because I feel like if I put you back, your pieces are going to fall off. And I already have too many modicates losing parts as is. So I'm just going to keep you right here to the right with the rest of the boys. And you can just stay right there. Ugh. Where are we working again? I forgot. But there I took a little bit. Oh, right. Making a holster for the Schneider blade. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, now this is... Oh, wait, no, we were tying this up because I need this tight for this. I don't want this to lose. So what modification we're going to do for this is we're going to do this. And then we're going. I want I have a pen. This actually can work. Hey, you know what? Screw the pen. Oh, why do I not have... Screw it, gun a marker. Good thing I have one. It's good thing I have gun markers with me at all times. So what we're going to do... is going to make sure this thing is in the middle where we need it to be. And we're just going... to just mark where we're going to need to cut. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit more to the edge because I don't want this being... Okay, so you can see there, we know where we got to cut. This way. When we cut that, I won't have any problems. So, one, two. There we go. Start snapping up this always scares me. But you know what? That's you had a plow plate for me. Now we reattach these to blades and now we go for what we gotta do. I just gotta make a spine for this. Basically I'm doing the same thing I did for the Vidar uh, holsters. Actually, this is exactly the same I did for the Vidar holsters. Except I have a new method of my madness I'm going to do for this. So the blades are going to be attached here. I'm need for this. The holster is going to be attached like that. Come on, I got to do this right. This need these to line up. I don't need these to be. I don't need the blade to be in there fully. I just need this to reattach, so I can attach the wire back. So I'm going to do is turn this back up again, twist it the way I need it to twist. There we go. Just need you to stay where you're at, please. So then we have this sealed away. Then we tighten this back up again. And then the madness, this thing actually decides to go in and seal up. There we go. That's what we need. Let me just tighten this back up. We're not done yet. This blade, see here, is almost there. Now, originally, if I was going to do this, I would actually grab a piece of wood with the drill. I actually would drill in, and bim, bam, boom, I would make a holster out of that. But, I had no wood pieces at the moment, even if I did. As you know, I could. No matter if wood pieces. I don't know why I don't have wood pieces. I should reuse wood pieces for my stuff. Oh, uh, crap. Where did I leave? I'm trying to find. I had tape. 
I had the electrical tape with me. Now it's gone. Great. Well, there goes plan A. Plan A was the electrical tape. Now we're going to go to plan B. It's not, oh wait, no. Find the electric tape. We're good. We're good. They're wondering, why am I going to do the electric tape? Well, the electric tape is going to help me. So I'm going to bind the legs. I'm going to bind the new holster for this Schneider blade. Tighten it up and just going to make it a day. I know. Might be the most junk way to do this. Or MacGyver way to do this. But you know what? It didn't leave me a choice. <laughs> so, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna tape this up. Strand the uh, electrical tape. We're just gonna put the binder there. This is the most uh, Junkers Guild way of making a holster <laughs> for your Schneider blade. And voila! Holster done. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is, we're not done yet. This is just temporary stuff. What I'm gonna do. If I need to do. Now, because this thing is now fully fitted, I'm trying to adjust the blade inside of it here. Okay. Now the tape is there. We're going to detach the wire now. Because the tape is going to be our new holder now. Okay, good. So with the tape now being there as a new holder, what we're going to do is with the other pieces... We're gonna cut, we're gonna send, we're gonna attach on there. We're gonna do this piece by piece until there's nothing left. The other idea was I was gonna find it was putty and just like, and then we'll drill through with this and just be done with it a day, but I feel like I'm making this harder for myself, kind of. Because the holster piece goes there. Gotta attach the square parts there. Can do this. I mean, the bottom piece is already there. As is. Okay, one second. I'm gonna make sure this attaches well. Like I said, this is all trial and error. There we go. Come on. Do this. Voila. I think we got it. Now it looks like I kinda wanna turn this to a gun. I mean, I can. I could. <gasps> I can do like one of those uh, gun holster things where it just shoots out pistols and then take it on and turn it to a knife. That's just not a bad idea. The tape is the other problem I'm going to have to hold this onto. So, we're going to leave this over here. Tape up the remaining part. Tape this off. Then we just tie this off right here. Tighten this off over here. Tighten more off. And boom. I think we're good. Now in one sense, I could just leave this as a one binder thing, but I'm not going to. We got, I got standards. Kind of. My standards are just being you know, grumpy as hell and just my modifications. Then maybe. But we can do this. Okay, how is this going? Eh, I mean, it's going fine. This is... This is the, probably my worst moment of modification ever. You know, I always had this problem. Because always, when trying to slap two pieces together and when trying to make, like, a holster one, that's always difficult. Usually, I just try to do this on a solid piece of plastic. Or, I have a better idea. But it requires me to smelt some other stuff, which I'm actually, I, which I may, might, I may do. Because I think that might be the better choice in this. Or, I think I found what I need. Yes, yes, it actually can work. Uh, got a marker. Gonna need you once more. Yeah, it's a little bit wasted to get a marker, but we just need this to be used for this. That's 
You just up. Ooh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to chill that one out. Okay. Nippers again. We have. Because now we have to make the spine for this. I know, rudimentary. We should not be doing this the way I am doing it, but you know what? I'm doing it the way I wanted to do it. Then again, nobody. Now you're wondering, who taught you this, Pyro? Answer, I did. After so many years of doing this on my own. I mean, yeah, I did learn techniques from other people that I've watched and whatnot. But overall, a lot of this is my own that I've made and whatnot. That I've learned over the years. Uh, what's it called? Oh, no. But a lot of this is just basically me over the years learning how to do this. Is it hard? Yeah. I mean, yeah, does it take time? Does it, is it sometimes frustrating? Of course it is. Like right now, this making this holster, this makeshift holster for this Schneider blade I want to attach onto this Strike Asterisk custom I'm working on. It's annoying as hell. But it's got to be done. I've been procrastinating way too long on other stuff. I mean, yeah, I can use the example of that I've been sick for at least the past uh, week or so, but what's it called? That's just. But the sickness is gone, which is the yay part. Because, my God, I had a terrible headache. Like, after I think I. No, even when I did the Godzilla video, uh, I, was, I still had headaches. So it's been going off for like a week, but now it's gone. So it's the yay part. Week, week and a half, just headaches, ear, just hurting, going to like my lower jaw, hurting, then the fe uh, kind of fever and all that. But I took some antibiotics that I had, plus uh, ibuprofen for painkillers and fever reducer. And bim, bam, boom, a week later. Oh, and also drink, uh, drink, do you drink or do you eat soup? That's a good question. Drink, eat soup, whatever. Well, like, well I guess you eat the, the soup itself. No, you eat the, well, I was eating the, the, the arches, uh, soups, and then you drink the broth, so I guess that's how you go. I guess you eat soup, but you also drink it. Either way, uh, what's it called? Uh, but yeah, so basically, drinking, eating soup, what, yada, yada, and then I'm back to full health, mostly. Okay, so this goes here. Now what we're gonna do is the other piece of tape should hold. So now we just cut these pieces. Hope this does not screw up the rest of the pieces. Come on, detach yourself. Come on. Just cut through. Just don't need you to break off the remaining stuff. Don't cut myself because I do not want to bleed. Because that would be terrible. I think we're good on this. I didn't tighten this up. Why do I always tighten this up? Okay, I think. If you don't need this to go all the way. Now to self, next time when I do this, remind me to what's it called. Uh to smell all the runners that I have and just I have just a full, full solid piece and just drill into that solid piece just to make the holster instead of doing this. And this is the worst part because I watch Forge and Fire and I'm like, don't you watch Forge and Fire? It's like, yes, I do. And I should be like, then why are you doing it like this? I don't know. I'm being dumb about this. I'm being very dumb about this. Okay, so we just attach. I'll take out the blade because I won't ruin that. I mean, I can slap three pieces of this together. Actually, that's not a bad idea. No, screw, screw the original idea. 
I have a better idea. We slap all these three pieces together. And actually, you know what? I know when to scrap scrap an idea. I'm just going to scrap this. Uh, the holster idea can do better next time around. I still like the plastic. I, I still like the foam idea a little bit better. So I'm just going to keep that as is. Because it works. Look, if it works the first time around, I'm just going to keep it as is. It's not that dumb, and the leg piece still works out fine. The only problem with the foam and whatnot is it's a little bit softer than I want it to be, but you know what? It is what it is. And I will work on actually doing that actual holster later. I'll do a video of the process when I do it. It probably won't be a long video. as Hopefully I'll have the materials ready, but I'll probably be doing that later another time. Right now. Sometimes you get annoyed when doing this, like sometimes your mentality of like, when things don't go right, as they never do, you just gotta, gotta know when you gotta quit. And, you know what, I already made a holster as is. May not be the best holder for this, but it works out well. I have to attach it onto there, it's gonna be another issue, but I can work on that. So, going from the fail of trying to make a new holster, and just going back to the old holster that I made, Let's go work on the uh, attachment piece for the strike. This thing should have sealed it away. That looks pretty good and nice. Looks solid. Everything looks like they fit it in well. No problem at all. I can see right here, everything looks solid. Now let's go with the attachment work. Here's the legs. Standing here. Boom. Leg right here. Boom. No problemo. Might, actually, I might do a little bit sandy to make it a little bit more looser, but overall, it's good. Overall, actually, that works well. Look, now I can do splits. This is what I wanted for this strike. Like, legit band. I don't know why you chose to use ball joints for the integrated instead of just the stick joint. What made it a whole lot easier and a little, much more universal was the high grades. Most of them. But that's fine. So now let's reattach. Go one second. I'm detaching the backpack for this. There we go. So I had issues with this guy a little bit while ago. So attach the waist piece again. Done and done. Where are the arms for this guy? Oh, here we go. Attach the left arm, no problem. And now attaching the right arm. No problem at all. And boom. Integrate strike, now modified with modern joints. Or at least better joints. I mean, I don't hate the integrate uh, strike. Uh, I know for other people, the regular integrate strike is fine and dandy. That's just the only problem is the only problem I will give to any of the integrates is why Bandai chose to go back to stick joints. I will never know. But here it is. All done and dandy. No point. So, attach the side skirts. Which, which I don't care if these ones are the ball joints ones. They're fine. If I feel like attaching the side skirts. Because I will say my ashtray strike idea is not fully complete. So, I might swap out the leg to the side screw things another time. But overall, integrate strike. Now modified with newer longer joints. We didn't really need to do the full modifications I've seen other people do for this. It's fine as is. But that's that's at least I'm ending this video. I ain't really am gonna stream it next time around. Like I'm gonna stream this at least the process of it when I do customization work. Uh but yeah, this is the um, modification to make the Entrigrade uh, Bill Strike Exceed Galaxy way better for its leg joints. See right there, the leg joints are way more better than they used to be. Uh, 
Doesn't really take that much. Just do some uh, side work and sacrifice a uh, and and the only thing you would need actually is a sacrifice a high grade uh yeah ale strike. I am lucky that I have way too many uh already destroyed high grades of well mainly of the strikes and exias because I built multiple customs of each so I had I had spare parts of legs that I can just use and as use cannon fodder. As you can see right here. No, this was a failed custom project I made. Not failed, it worked well. Just uh, the paint job kind of fucked me over. It was one of the many le first lessons of doing full full like full like body custom paint work with spraying and stuff. I learned my lesson of that time. But was that out of the way? This is my H grade uh, build Strike Seed Galaxy with upgraded leg joints. Looking well and fantastic. And I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Power Earn signing out. See you guys.